Before we jump right into this, let me squash one common misconception about building six pack abs. It's impossible to target fat in any specific section of your body by doing targeted workouts. And so doing ab workouts to target abdominal fat isn't great by itself. It's not gonna do much in helping craft that shredded six pack you're looking for, at least not by itself. There's a little more involved in the whole process. <laughs> When it comes to training for shredded six pack abs, there are two major things involved. First, the eating and second, the training. What you eat when training for abs plays a very important role. I honestly believe it plays a more important role than the training itself. One of the most important things you've probably heard a lot about building six pack abs is that you need a lower body fat percentage for them to become visible. The truth is, everyone has ab muscles. The reason why most people do not see them is because they're hidden beneath a layer of fat that's accumulated over time. This brings us back to the low body body fat requirement. One of the first things I'll suggest for anyone to do before worrying about what to eat and how to train for abs is to find out your current body fat percentage. This gives you a great starting point. You know where you are and you can decide where you need to be and that brings us to the question of what's a good body fat percentage to aim for to see those shredded jewels. The key to visible abs is to lower your overall body fat. That means the percentage of fat in your whole body has to be at a low point for your hidden jewels to show up at all times. In essence, you'd want your body fat percentage to be around 10% or under. Take a note of that number and remember it. Your body fat percentage is a value that tells you how much of your body weight is made up of fat. Before we talk about how to go about lowering your body fat percentage through eating and training, I'd love to ask you a little favor. Take a second and hit the big red subscribe button as well as the gold bell icon right next to it to support the growth of this channel so I can keep making videos like this. If you want to get a six pack, changing your diet is extremely important. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, fatty fish, and tea can all help accelerate fat burning. But you want to avoid fried foods, sugary snacks, refined grains, sugar sweetened beverages, and excessive alcohol intake. So that's the general idea of what to eat and what to avoid when trying to lower your body fat and craft out your abs. Let's talk about how to lower that body fat to 10% and under. As I said earlier, I believe eating is more important than training when it comes to building a shredded six pack. One of the most important nutrients to focus on when it comes to building abs abs or muscle in general is protein and you'll hear that a lot. Protein is the most important building block for muscle in the body. You should aim to consume between 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. For a 130 pound woman, that's 71 to 95 grams. And for a 150 pound man, that's 82 to 109 gram of protein per day. So do the math for your body weight as well. This is a great rule of thumb to follow when training for abs. There's no harm in consuming a little more protein than that to be on the safe side. Protein consumption must play a large role in your new and adjusted diet when building a six pack. Some popular and widely known food sources of protein include meats of all kinds, poultry products like chicken, turkey, etc., fish like salmon, tuna, etc., eggs and dairy like milk, yogurt, etc. Plants are also great sources of protein, especially for all you guys that are vegetarians out there. Protein rich plant foods include different kinds of beans like black beans, red kidney beans, etc., lentils, nuts like peanuts, almonds, etc seeds like hemp hearts, chia seeds, etc. and soy food. So you'd want to incorporate these into your daily diet. Before you decide to increase your protein intake, first take a look at your current diet. If you're already using high protein supplements like protein powders and protein bars, swap them for high quality protein rich whole foods like lean meats, fish, chicken, nuts and legumes. If you're already consuming a variety of plant and animal proteins alongside regular exercise, you're probably already reaching your daily protein requirements as well as your overall general health goals. As long as you opt for lean whole protein sources whenever possible and run the calculations based on your age, weight and health goals, your protein needs will be satisfied. If you need more information on specific diet needs for your particular body, I'd suggest you contact a nutritionist. Let's talk about training for a six pack. As I said at the beginning, of the video. Targeted ab training won't necessarily lead to a six pack, at least not by itself. What you want to do is train to lower your overall body fat percentage. To do that, there are multiple ways. Let's go over a few of them. Strength training is a kind of resistance training that involves the use of weights to build strength and muscle mass. Compound exercises, which belong to the strength training family, are especially great 
for burning off calories due to the amount of energy required to complete these movements. They're great for building muscle mass, which in turn promotes weight loss. If you didn't know, muscle mass demands more blood flow and nutrients compared to fat mass. For blood to flow this much, energy that comes from carbs and fats is required, which in turn works to burn calories. The more muscle mass you have, the more calories you burn. It's as simple as that. So train to build muscle mass and you'll burn fat alongside. This doesn't only happen during training. Muscles have a higher rest in metabolism compared to fats, meaning that even during your resting phase, you're still burning calories. One pound of muscle is set to burn three times as many calories as a pound of fat burns at rest. When you're doing compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, etc., you're usually involving different core muscles. If you continuously work these muscles, you end up building a strong core and exposing your hidden abs. This method of training is great if another one of your goals is to build muscle muscle mass for strength and size. I'll suggest doing this kind of training if you have access to weights or a gym membership. Some people might not be able to reach a lower body fat percentage by doing compound movements or any kind of strength training alone. This is where HIIT and targeted ab workouts come into play. High intensity interval training or HIIT as most people like to call it is great for burning off calories by elevating the heart rate for short intervals of time, training your endurance levels and building a stronger heart. This kind of workout alone along with a high protein diet will help you reduce fat and can lead to visible abs. You also have to cut down on the carbs and the bad processed foods. If you have access to no equipment or a gym membership, this is a great way to build a six pack. This kind of training can also be combined with strength or compound training to torch fat faster as well as build muscle at the same time. Other ways to train using HIIT is by increasing the impact of the workout using light weights in form of dumbbells or barbells. This will also encourage strength training. HIIT can help a lot of people reach the shredded abs status by itself but others may not be so lucky and so let's talk about another kind of training targeted ab workouts involve doing core strengthening exercises to help tone out the midsection and build a solid six pack this kind of training is best combined with other kinds of training like strength cardio and hiit for the best results these exercises can be done without the use of any equipment but one's body weight try using a single or multiple dumbbells to up the intensity of a targeted ab workout leading to an even stronger core and better ab these workouts are aimed at strengthening the core and building thicker ab muscles that show up at higher body fat percentages. There's no way to target fat in one part of the body alone like I said, so it doesn't help you in reducing belly fat as most people like to believe, at least not in the way most people think. Combining targeted ab workouts and HIIT into one workout session is a great way to burn fat and build a strong core at the same time. I like to call these HIIT for ab workouts and you can check out a playlist I started for that kind of workout by clicking above. This method also allows allows you to train for core strength and burn calories off at the same time. Another way to combine both is by creating a weekly workout schedule that involves alternating between a day of targeted ab workouts and HIIT full body workouts. This method will allow you to alternate between a high intensity full body session to reduce your overall body fat on one day and core strengthening and toning session to build rock solid abs on the other day. This method also allows for muscle recovery on one day, making it great for a full seven day weekly routine to reduce fat and build abs ab muscles. Targeted ab workouts can also be mixed with compounds and other strength training routines. In this case, you want to supplement your strength training routines with post-workout ab routines, morning ab routines, or even ab routines before bed. With these, you want to avoid overtraining your ab muscles since you already engage them a lot during strength training. When combined with a standard strength training routine, targeted ab workouts should only be done one to three times a week. You've probably heard it somewhere that targeted ab workouts are absolutely useless. Well, that's not true to be honest with you. In the case of shedding a layer of fat blocking your six pack, targeted ab workouts alone won't do you much good. In the case of building strength in your core and building thicker ab muscles so they pop out at higher body fat percentages, these kinds of workouts are perfect. Cardio or cardiovascular training is the last type of training I'll suggest trying for torching fat for a visible six pack. These include cycling, swimming, sports, running, jogging, etc. These can be done to supplement any of the other workouts I've talked about above or by itself to help lower your body fat percentage. When done alone, cardiovascular exercises are are great for training your heart, endurance, and burning enough calories as opposed to building strength. So that wraps it up. To summarize everything, one, you want
want to focus on lowering your body fat percentage to around 10% and under for your ab muscles to become visible. Very important. Two, you want to adjust your diet to exclude processed foods, deep fried foods, street foods, fast foods, sugary foods, etc. Number three, you want to adjust your diet to include more animal and or plant protein. If you're a vegetarian, go for only plant protein sources. If not, get a good mix of both. Number four, you want to build a training schedule you can stick by. Choose one based on the kind of training equipment you have access to or if you have access to none. Do a compound and isolation training regimen to build strength, size, and to raise your metabolism to torch fat for that visible six pack. Combine a compound and isolation training regimen as well as a HIT regimen to torch fat even faster. Combine a compound and an isolation regimen with some targeted ab workouts to torch fat and build a strong core. Do a HIIT regimen alone to torch fat and maybe expose your hidden ab muscles. Combine a HIIT regimen with some targeted ab workouts to torch fat and build a strong core at the same time. This is the best option for anyone with no equipment. Live, breathe, and practice all these things I've talked about, and you'll definitely reach the shredded six-pack abs status. That's all I've got for you guys in this one. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button if you're new here, and hit the gold bell icon right next to it to subscribe. If you want to see some more videos like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Midas, and I am out.